I'm Tamsin Fidel. A PIX11 in partnership with the Broadway Channel brings you this Backstage on Broadway Extra. Wonderful. I look forward to it. I'm a big fan of Woody's. He's a great talent. It's going to be a lot of fun. Like any movie that's made into a musical, you have to adapt it for its theatricality. It's it's a verbal medium as opposed to a, a visual medium. So there are, and of course, Susan Stroman's uh, golden touch on Broadway. There's so much incredible dancing. Uh, some of the most incredible dancers you've ever seen uh, really just kicking it up there. You know, if I hadn't been in the movie, I would swear that he wrote it for the stage. It was never a movie. He wrote it for the stage. It really feels that way. And it's transporting. It's a, an era he loves, the 30s and prohibition and the glamour. And uh, it all just sort of pours off the stage onto you. And it's, it's wonderful. It's really wonderful. Uh, at first, the idea did not appeal to me. But when my sister came up with the suggestion of doing vintage music, 1920s music, then it suddenly sounded good because I'm a big jazz fan and the music of the 20s is a big jazz, you know, it's a great, you know, great many jazz songs of that era. So then it became fun. I think, but what the hell do I know? I think everyone will like it. I think it's foolproof. It's just very enjoyable. And, and I'm not just saying that, I really think it. I'd be the first to tell you if I thought it wasn't good. I'm very critical of my movies, but you know, not because of me, because of the cast, because of Susan Stroman and Santo and William Ivy Long. I mean, they, they just did a beautiful job on it, and I think you're going to like it. I really do. We've never really had a chance to sit down and talk. Drink? Sure. I made it myself. If it tastes from lighter fluid, it's because it's lighter fluid. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to give you this. <laughs> you know, every opening is exciting, but this one, I have to say, I think because of the collaboration with this team and working with Woody and, and because it's a comedy, there's nothing greater than the sound of laughter. And to hear that audience laugh tonight, you know, just filled my heart with happiness. It was wonderful. So this was very special for me. It's literally a dream. Isn't it great? You know, a lot of it was Woody saying he wanted authentic music from the period, and I think it enhances the show. You don't sit there and go, well, isn't it too bad they wrote a score that isn't quite as good as music from that period? Because the music is great, and it works, yeah. It's thrilling. It's just so thrilling. I mean, uh, I, I was the little kid who was eight years old looking up at Broadway shows going, one day I want to do that, and, uh, um, you know, 31 years later, uh, to stand on center stage at the St. James with that response, with this amazing ensemble, it, I, I just, I can't tell you, it's one of, the, one of the happiest moments of my life. I hope everybody comes to see it. It's, it's, uh, it's a great date. I mean, that's ultimately, when I go to the theater, I wanna, I wanna uh, you know, have a glass of champagne, laugh, see great dancing, great singing, and, and, uh, and, and just have a fun night out. It's, it's, it's a blast. I, I, I know I'm biased because I'm in it, but I, I, I say over and over again, if I saw this show, I would love it. So uh, anyone who wants it, an amazing date night out, I highly recommend it. Tonight was probably the best night in my life. And before we opened tonight, Susan said to us, this is probably going to be one of the best nights of your life. She said it to the cast, so just cherish it. And she's right. She was right. I mean, you, you can't get any bigger than that. I think this play is going to be uh, at the St. James for at least five years. Yeah. I certainly hope so. I mean, I'm not God, I can't like predict that, but I, I think it deserves to be, because it makes a lot of people very happy. And that's what, that's what going to the theater's about, is feeling something, and whether it's laughter or sadness, but it's something that's, that feels important and, and joyous. It's like the music is great, the dancing is great, I mean, that's all icing, but the story is so fun and you follow it, and it never gets ahead of you. It's, or you never get ahead of it, I should say. It's so, it's great. It's, it's, and it's, it has little surprises and twists and turns. Even if you've seen the movie of Bullets Over Broadway, it's still, 
it still surprises you. And I think that's it. It's got a great book and a great story, and that's rare in musical theater. You know, funny is funny, and uh, this is funny. So I think if people want to have a good time and, and uh, laugh at these very silly characters in very serious situations, they're, they're going to find it to be just a real treat. And, and plus the dancing and the sets and the lights and all the Broadway stuff about it is just, it's superior. It really is. Tonight was spectacular. It was electric. Uh, you know, I've heard sometimes on these opening things, uh, people can sit on their hands a little bit, but... They were with us every step of the way, and uh, it was a friendly audience, and uh, they re really made us feel at home at the St. James. It was exciting. Ah, it's pretty crazy. It, it feels like a whirlwind, but I'm so happy it's finally here. Oh, the music is perfect. They were so careful about selecting the songs, and um, I just think they did such a great job with the with the choices and and. Um, they were so specific in what they what they chose. I love my songs, and Doug Busterman's orchestrations are incredible. Really exciting, amazing, and so much fun to bring these characters to the stage. And Helen Sinclair, I mean, she's an ultimate diva. She's the, the grand dame of the theater in the 1920s, and uh, she's a, a dipsomaniac, nymphomaniac, and a kleptomaniac. She's just too much fun. People go should come see Bullets Over Broadway because there's something for everyone, and it's going to make you laugh, and it's a, a Broadway show in the sense of what you think of a Broadway show. Uh, with Susan Stroman at its helm. Don't speak, don't speak, be silent, be silent, please don't speak, be silent.